Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have swatches to share with you from Polish Pickup for March 2021. The Polish Pickup for March is themed with spring and it will open for pre-order March 5th at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and it will run through March 8th, at which time it will close at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The Polish Pickup is a pre-order, so everything that you see here is going to begin shipping when the site closes on March 8th and it will take approximately three to four weeks to reach you from the close of the sale. Polish Pickup also offers flat rate shipping of three dollars within the United States and internationally they are tiered so you're going to want to check out the Polish Pickup website to find out if you're not within the United States what shipping is going to cost for you which I will have linked in the description box for you down below. Polish Pickup is also limited edition, so anything that you see here, will, once it sells out or the Polish Pickup website closes, it will not be available again, so if you see anything that you like, be sure to head on over and pick it up. I might say that an item has a cap, and if I say that, what that means exactly is the item has a limited number of bottles available. So if I say there's 250 bottles available, once those 250 bottles sell out, that item is gone and it will not be available for purchase anymore. So if an item is capped, my recommendation is to go in, get those items first, check out, and then go back because there is the flat rate shipping available. If you make four orders, you're gonna be charged the $3 flat rate shipping for all four orders, but when your items ship, they are going to refund you the subsequent orders. So if you had four, they're going to refund you th for three and you're just going to pay the one. I hope that wasn't too confusing because I know I ramble. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave me questions down below in the comments and I will do my best to clarify for you. I will have all the information that you need linked in the description box as well. So I have about 19 items to share with you today. Why don't we go ahead and jump right into it? All right, so the first item that we are going to have a look at today is from By Danny Viana, and this is Butterfly Effect. Butterfly Effect will sell for $13. It comes in an 11 milliliter bottle, and there will be 300 bottles available. This was inspired by a purple butterfly picture. It is a thermal polish that goes from a purple to black, so it's purple when you're warm, and it's black when you're cold, and it is filled with pink aurora shimmer. This polish had an absolutely fantastic formula. It went on so smoothly and so evenly. It was nice and opaque. I only needed two coats for full opacity and the thermal effect as you can see here is absolutely wonderful. This polish had no issues whatsoever, no running, no pulling, no staining, and it is not going to dry textured or be difficult for you to remove at all. My swatches of the butterfly effect are two coats and a glossy top coat. This next polish is from Cupcake Polish and it's Monarchy. It's going to sell for $13 and it was inspired by a Monarch butterfly. It comes in a 15 milliliter bottle and there is no cap. It is described as a dark gray nail polish that's packed with orange to red to gold flakies and holographic micro flakies. This polish had a fantastic formula. It does start off a bit sheer because there is a lot going on and it is a darker base so you're going to want to build to opacity. This was opaque for me in three coats. The flakes in that dark base is just absolutely beautiful. I didn't have any application issues whatsoever. I had no running, no pulling. I had no staining. There is a bit of um, a little bit of a texture because there's so many flakes in there, but it's not the kind of texture that's going to give you any kind of difficulty to remove. And my final swatch is showing you three coats of Cupcake Polish's Monarchy and a glossy top coat. I do want to take note that my nail shape is going to bounce back and forth between square and oval because I had a break and, uh, you know, it takes the whole month to do polish pickup, so I had to deal with the inconsistency. I'm sorry. Next up, we have Cuticula's Dreams Take Flight. This is going to sell for $12.50. It comes in a 15 milliliter bottle and there is no cap. This was inspired by red spotted purple butterflies. It is described as a navy jelly base with orange to green shifting iridescent glitters, neon orange dots, neon yellow orange dots, and shifting ultra chrome flakies. This polish had a wonderful formula. It was very easy to work with. It was smooth to apply. Those glitters come out nice and evenly across the nail. I didn't have to do any bottle manipulation, but of course with glitters you might want to do a little bit of placement, I guess, with your brush to get everything where you want it to go. 
and otherwise everything is abundant and nice and squishy for such a beautiful depth kind of look i absolutely love this polish i have absolutely nothing like it it is a gorgeous and unique polish it is going to dry with a bit of texture because that is glitter in there and it will be difficult for you to remove so there you have cuticula's dreams take flight in two coat three coats and a glossy top coat this next item is also from Cuticula, and it is her Limitless Scented Top Coat. This month, the scent is Raspberry Sugar. It is described as having juicy, candy, fruity top notes with long-lasting, sugary, sweet bottom notes. A scrumptious, sweet-as-candy blend of sugared raspberries, hints of plum, and tiny little hints of floral. This is a quick-dry top coat. It is five-free, which is wonderful. It never dulls my hollows it never shrinks my nail polish when it dries it doesn't have any ill effects that i can ever think of it is always on my desk it is as you guys if you watch my videos you know i'm always using it so for this i just decided to do a little raspberry sugar inspired smush to kind of showcase how very easy like the top coat is to work with with nail art you're not gonna it's not one of those top coats where you're going to get through your nail art and then it's going to smear everything and you just kind of want to break stuff because it's like all that work. You don't have to worry about that with this top coat. You just put a nice generous bead on your brush and the brush is nice and one of those rounded brushes so it is very, very easy to manipulate and you just float it along the top of your design and it leaves you with a nice long lasting shiny manicure the scents this month is absolutely one of my top picks of all time this is up there with the number one in my opinion was rock candy from a couple years ago this one is neck and neck with it for my favorite i absolutely love this scent it has that raspberry with that bit of sweetness it is just so delightful i'm obsessed with it and i have made such a dent in my bottle i'm probably going to pick up another one just because i really really enjoy it so i'm just finishing up my nail art i did a little smush you can see that i just kind of you know use the stamper to smush the colors on i did three coats to kind of get a nice little swirl look and then I'm just going to stamp on some raspberry stamping image and it's kind of like all my nail arts in one to showcase just how good this top coat plays with nail art and I'm just going to float it on over the design and nothing smears this top coat is definitely my favorite of all time Next up is Girly Bits Squawk This Way. It sells for $13. There will be 300 bottles available and it comes in a 15 milliliter bottle. This was inspired by Flamingos. Squawk This Way starts off as a soft pink shimmer and with a change of angle of the light, it will display shades of peach, coral, pinky gold at extreme angles. It is especially glowy in low lighting and sparklier in the bright lights. This polish had an absolutely wonderful formula. It went on very smoothly, very evenly. I had absolutely no issues whatsoever. You might notice some brush strokes in application, but they are absolutely gone completely once it dries, so don't even worry about that. The shift on this is absolutely so, so pretty. It's so delicate and so girly. I absolutely loved this. It was opaque for me in three coats. I had no issues whatsoever. It didn't dry texture, and it will not give you any kind of difficulty to remove. I do have a couple extra photos here for showcasing that shift because it was not possible for me to do that in one photo. So there you have Squawk This Way and a glossy top coat. Next up, we have Glistening Glows Hypnotized by the Peacock's Eyes. This is gonna sell $12.50. It comes in a 15 milliliter bottle and there is no cap. This was inspired by a beautiful peacock that comes to visit Jill's, who is the owner of Glisten and Glow, her besties property in Florida on a regular basis. It is described as a medium green with blue shimmer, blue to green to gold iridescent flakes, aqua to blue to chrome, aqua to blue chrome flakes, and rainbow crystal flakes. This polish had a wonderful formula. It went on very smoothly, very evenly. No application issues whatsoever. This might dry with the tiniest bit of texture, but one coat of Glisten and Glow's glossy top coat made it nice and shiny 
shiny for me, nice and glossy. This will not give you any kind of difficulty to remove. I would recommend a base coat just to be safe because it is a green, and I know greens can be stainers on some people. So just to be cautious, I would recommend a base coat, but I wore this for the day and it didn't stain me through the base coat. So here it is with a glossy and a matte top coat. Next up is also from Glisten and Glow, and this is their duo for the cuticle remover and their cuticle oil. This is going to sell for $12. It does not have a cap, and each item's product size is 2 milliliters. This is in a scent, Citrus Refresher, which is described as a wonderful blend of orange, lemon, and lime. It is a bright, bold, and crisp, a great wake-me-up type of scent. So, the cuticle remover is excellent. I use it all the time. It is one of my absolute favorites. It is always on my desk. It's very easy to use. It's very, it's gentle, but not like too gentle where it doesn't do anything. It works really well. I basically just click it, you know, do a couple clicks, get a whole bunch on the brush, and then I brush it onto my nails, you know, just in this kind of motion. And I also make sure I do underneath because my cuticles grow underneath my nail and it drives me crazy so this kind of helps with that so once I let it sit for about 60 seconds I go in with my cuticle pusher I'm using a glass one here and I just push my cuticles back very gently and then I flip to the pointed like pencil side and I just go up and round off the edges to do a little bit more cleaning and then I do underneath my nail as well to scrape off just a little bit with underneath your nail be very very gentle and stick to the edges of it because you're not going to get like you don't want to go into the nail because that hurts and probably would make you bleed don't do that just be very gentle underneath and then i wash my hands and that's it always i finish up with a cuticle oil here we have glistening glows same scent citrus refresher and this is their cuticle oil it is very very good it is very hydrating which you can see my nails are dry here from the washing I just did after I removed my cuticles so I'm just gonna rub it in and then I will allow it to sit for a couple minutes and it'll sink into my skin and it won't leave me with the yucky greasy sticky type feeling it has a wonderful feeling and it leaves my nails nice and hydrated so there you have glistening glows cuticle duo Next up, we have Kathleen & Co. Electric Butterfly. This is going to sell for $13. There will be 400 bottles available. It comes in a 15 milliliter bottle, and it was inspired by a photo of infrared butterflies. Electric Butterfly is a bright violet base that is loaded with pink iridescent flakes and a light dusting of pink shimmer. This polish had an absolutely wonderful formula. It went on very smoothly and very evenly. It stayed exactly where I put it. This color is absolutely beautiful. It is a lighter color to start off, so it does start off a little bit sheer. I did use three coats to achieve full opacity and achieve a nice and beautiful type of squishy depth which I absolutely found so pleasing in this polish. This polish is not going to be difficult for you to remove and it will not dry textured. The color on this one is just so striking. So my final swatch here is going to show you three coats of Electric Butterfly and a glossy top coat. Next up, we have Lollipop Posse Lacquer, the Tulgy Wood. This is going to sell for $13. There is no cap, and it was inspired by the spectacle bird from Disney's Alice in Wonderland that sits atop the Tulgy Wood signpost. It is described as a candy apple red curly base filled with pink to orange to gold aurora shimmer and a deep indigo to purple crystal chameleon flake. This polish had an absolutely fantastic formula. It went on so smooth and so evenly. It was just a joy to work with. Everything about this polish is just so beautiful. The blue flakes in there really pop against this base. It's not gonna dry textured and it's not going to be difficult for you to remove. And there was absolutely no application issues whatsoever. And here you have just two coats from Lollipop Posse Lacquer and a glossy top coat.
Next up is Lynn B Designs Strut Your Stuff. It's going to sell for $12. It comes in a 15 milliliter bottle and there is no cap. This was inspired by roosters and their beautiful plumage. It is described as a rusty brown to red base filled with scattered hollow, red to orange to yellow shifting flakes, and green to orange to gold shifting flakes. This polish had a wonderful formula. It does start off a little bit sheer on that first coat, but it does build to a nice full opacity in three. This polish has some beautiful flakes going on in there, but don't worry, it won't dry textured and it won't be difficult for you to remove. I had absolutely no issues with this polish. It was a pure joy to work with. And there you have my final swatch in three coats and a glossy top coat. Mm, this next polish is from MLF Lacquer and it's called Pink Pigeon. It's going to sell for $11, come in a 15 milliliter bottle, and there are 200 bottles available. This was inspired by a photo of a pink pigeon in the UK. It is described as a cool toned neon pink jelly polish with aqua to purple to pink to blue iridescent flakes, violet to blue shimmer, and holographic flakes. This polish was an absolute joy to work with. I had absolutely no issues with this whatsoever. It went on very smoothly, very evenly. It stayed where I put it. Nothing with this polish was anything but a joy. It is just strikingly beautiful. It glows off your nail. It is so vibrant. And those flakes, just contrasting against that beautiful pink color, absolutely love this polish. It will not dry textured, and it will not be difficult for you to remove. Next up, we have Pampered Polishes Ixne on the Upid Stay. It's going to sell for $12.50, comes in a 15 milliliter bottle, and there is no cap. This was inspired by Zazu, and it is described as a white crelly that is loaded with a variety of blue glitters and flakes, sprinkled with orange and yellow contrasting glitter. This polish had a wonderful formula. It went on very smoothly, very evenly. It stayed exactly where I put it. I had absolutely no application issues, and I also had absolutely no trouble getting those glitters out of the bottle. I didn't have to do anything special. I just picked up the bottle and applied it. I didn't do any of the whole upside down thing. How it was in the bottle is how it applied to my nail, and I was absolutely very pleased with it. This polish does have glitter in it, so it will dry with a teeny bit of texture, and it will be a little bit difficult to remove, but overall, I was surprised it really wasn't bad. This polish had absolutely no application issues. It didn't run, didn't pull, it did not stain. This polish was so pretty. I am always in love with a white crelly, and this one just definitely check that box for me. So beautiful. And there you have Pampered Polishes Ixne on the Upid Stay in three coats with a glossy and a matte top coat. Next up, we have Penelope Luz's Splendid Flight. This is going to sell for $13. It comes in a 10 milliliter bottle, and there will be 700 bottles available. This was inspired by a pretty rose finch bird, and it is described as a magenta magnetic with purple shimmer and a very small galaxy hollow silver glitter. This polish had a very, very good formula. The formula on this was awesome. It's another one of those ones where if this wasn't a magnetic, you might be happy with it in just one. But being a magnetic, I always go in for two because it pulls and you don't want it to pull and show your bare nail. So I am applying two coats and then I'm going to apply the magnetic, um, the magnet, sorry. I'm going to apply the magnet. I hold it for about 45 seconds, get a nice crisp line. And then I'm going to add my top coat. And then after I add the top coat, I also hold the magnet again for about 45 seconds. This polish had a fantastic formula, no issues at all. It will not dry textured or give you any difficulty to remove. And there you have my final swatch in a glossy top coat. The next polish that we are going to be looking at is from Polished for Days, and this is Rose Finch. Rose Finch is going to sell for $12.50, comes in a 15 milliliter bottle, there is no cap. This was inspired by a pink rose finch. It is described as a smoky blue curly base with pink to yellow to green iridescent flakes. This polish had a very excellent formula. It went on super smooth and very easily. The formula was just absolutely wonderful. It is more on the creamy side of the curly and it is just a joy to work with. This polish is 
It gave me no application issues. This is not going to dry textured and it will not be difficult for you to remove. This polish is so pretty. I love, love, love the contrasting blue and pink. They are some of my favorite combinations and I absolutely adore this polish. So here you have Polish for Days Rose Finch with a glossy top coat. Up next, we have another contribution from Polished for Days, and this is their Soft Focus Visible Nail Line Blurring Base Coat. It's going to sell for $15. There'll be 400 bottles available. It is a neutral tinted base coat to help conceal and blur your line while maintaining the natural look of your nail. This base coat was designed for use with sheer polishes and can be used with any polish. This is not an opaque cream base. This soft focus base coat is absolutely wonderful the formula is so easy to use all my swatches are just one coat it is a very very easy to work with formula it self levels wonderfully and the bonus for me at least is it hides the staining in my nails so when I'm swatching something that's a little bit more sheer it prevents that yellow from peeking through and giving a tone that shouldn't be in the polish to my swatch because of the staining, which I use a lot to help me with more sheer polishes and I so appreciate it. And the fact that the formula is just such a great one coater is just icing on the cake. It's, I highly recommend this um, base coat. Next up is Quixotic Polishes Glitter Fly. This is going to sell for $12.50 and there is a cap of 350 bottles available. This is described as a turquoise to purple to red multi-chrome filled with gold micro glitters. This polish had an absolutely phenomenal formula. It went on so smoothly and so evenly. This was just a joy to work with. I had absolutely no application issues whatsoever, no running, no pooling, I had no staining. The little glitters in there are a welcome sparkle to this shifty base color, and shifty it is, it is so very shifty. It will dry with a slight bit of texture, because those are little glitters, but it won't be terrible. One coat of a glossy top coat did gloss it up for me, and it wasn't very hard to remove. There was a little resistance, but overall it wasn't bad at all all I was very pleased and I threw in a couple of extra photos because this is too shifty to capture in one single photo this next polish is from red-eyed lacquer and it is called crazy over daisy this is going to sell for $12.50 come in a 12 milliliter bottle there will be 200 bottles available and one dollar from every bottle will be donated to the American Thyroid Association to help find a cure for all thyroid diseases. This is a magnetic polish with a lilac base with silver magnetic pigment, pink to purple shimmer, and teal holographic UCC flakies. This polish had an absolutely phenomenal formula, went on very, very smoothly, very evenly. I had absolutely no application issues here whatsoever. This is not going to try textured and it will not give you any kind of difficulty to remove. I just hold the magnet over there for about 45 seconds and then you have that beautiful stripe going through. This is a little bit more of your subtle magnetic due to the beautiful like nude type of base and I hold it again after I apply the top coat and just to keep that line nice and crisp and there you have it in three coats and a glossy top coat the magnetic line just adds something so dainty and beautiful to this polish i really enjoyed it next up is also from red-eyed lacquer and this is the bomber this is going to be in the scent butterfly kisses it's going to sell for seven dollars and fifty cents it was inspired by butterfly magnolias it's a one ounce to bomber scented in peach magnolia flowers and raspberries 10 percent of every balm will be donated to the american thyroid association to help find a cure for all thyroid diseases there will be 100 bottles of this available and this sells out fast so if this is one of the things you want go in and get this first and check out so you don't miss it this stuff is amazing i use this every single night before i go to bed after i take a shower I love this. It is so hydrating. It starts off as a, like, you know, that more opaque kind of, but it melts on your skin and it just leaves a nice, like, oil to, it's a little bit thicker than your average, like, 
type of cream, but it is like a butter more and it is just so hydrating. I live by this stuff. I highly recommend it. And there you have Butterfly Kisses from Red Eyed Lacquer's Da Bomber. This next polish we have is from Rogue Lacquer and it is Hatched. Hatched is going to sell for $12. There's no cap. It is inspired by Robin's Eggs and it is described as a creamy Robin's Egg Blue with copper metallic flakes. This polish is so pretty and so dainty and it had such a wonderful formula to boot. I had no application issues with this polish whatsoever. It went on very smoothly, very evenly. The flakes come out nice and abundantly. There was no fishing for them. There was just absolute joy to work with. The flakes might give you the tiniest bit of texture, but I really don't remember there being much of a texture at all. One coat of a glossy top coat will take care of that, make it nice and glassy for you, and it will not be difficult for you to remove. This polish is just so beautiful, and it is so spring. I wore this one for like three or four days. I couldn't get enough of it. It's just so beautiful. And last, but definitely not least, we have Supermoon Lacquer's Badass Broad. This is going to sell for $13, and it comes in a 15 milliliter bottle. There will be no cap. This was inspired by the Birds of Prey movie poster. This is described as a scattered green holographic blue-green base that's filled with green to blue, turquoise to purple, and yellow to green color shifting shimmer. Blue, green, and turquoise shimmer, gold sparks, blue, green, purple, and rose pearl microflakes, light gold microflakes, iridescent rainbow microglitter, and holographic gold microglitter. This polish had an absolutely phenomenal formula. It went on very smoothly, very evenly. It was almost opaque for me in one coat, but I did go in for two to even it all out. This polish is not going to dry textured. Just don't worry about those words microglitter that were in the description, and it is not going to be difficult to remove at all if you even really want to remove this because it is so beautiful. I think I wore this one for like four days. This was another one I kept on for a really long time because it is just absolutely jaw-droppingly gorgeous. I love this jewel tones turquoise. All right, guys, that wraps up the polish pickup that I have for you for March 2021. This pre-order opens March 5th at 11 a.m. Eastern Time and runs through March 8th when it closes at 11 59 p.m eastern time i will have all the information that you need in the description box down below and be sure to check out the polish pickup website because there are a ton more offerings this month than i have to show you uh, if you have any questions that you want to ask leave me a comment down below and i'll be sure to find the answer out for you it, i hope you found this video helpful and informative and thank you so much for watching and i'll talk to you real soon bye guys